In this video, we are going to talk about plant tissues. So let's start with today's video. Subscribe to Ratna Saga Private Limited. For more interesting videos, you can buy biology books too. Ratna Saga is the best educational center for everything. Books are available at a low price. So let's start with our video. So what are tissues? All the a cell is the basic structure and functional unit of life, this we all know. In multicellular organisms such as plants and animals, the cells with similar structure and functions are grouped together. In many organisms such as we in humans and plants, animals, there are many groups of similar cells present. There are many groups of similar cells present like here, you can see this. These are all the groups of the similar cells. Many groups of similar cells are present. They help in performing various functions. So they are grouped together. Here you can see they are grouped together. All the cells are grouped together. So this is plant tissues. So plant tissues are divided into two types. Meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. So what a meristematic tissue? This is a photo of meristematic tissue. Meristematic tissue is divided into two types, which is apical meristem tissue, then is lateral meristem tissue, and there is another point too that is interclay meristem, which we'll learn in class eight. So meristematic tissues. Uh, meristematic tissues, the cells which divide rapidly and continuously in a tree. In the tree, many cells are present which divide rapidly and continuously, as a result of which the tree and the plant gains height. These groups of actively dividing cells, these groups of actively dividing cells are called meristematic tissues. All the groups that are actively dividing are called a meristematic tissue. Then, meristematic tissue is divided into two types. Apical meristem, which I told you, and lateral meristem too. Apical meristem and tissue. Apical meristematic tissue. This tissue is present in the root and shoot tips. Here you can see this apical meristematic tissue is present in the shoot, means the most upper part of the plant which grows above the soil. It is present in the shoot. It is present in the root too and lateral meristematic tissue. Another type is the lateral meristematic tissue. Lateral meristematic tissue, it is because of this that the tree gains thickness, means as the tree gains height, it also gains thickness. This lateral meristematic tissue is responsible for the increase in roots and stem. As you see this thickness over here, it grows on with the increase in length as the length increases as the length increases the as the length increases the thickness also increases with the plant so lateral meristematic tissue is present on the upper sides of the root and stem here you can see lateral meristematic tissue it is present on the upper sides of the root and is present in a stem too next tissue the next type Permanent tissue. This is the photo of a permanent tissue. Permanent tissue have many types. Some of them are chloroplast, vacuole, nucleus, cell wall, and cytoplasm with the guard cells and stemata. So, simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue. These are the two types of permanent tissues which we will be learn in the next video. So permanent tissues. Permanent tissues, the cells of the plant which do not divide further or have stopped growing for the time being are called permanent tissues. In this cell, in this tissue, the cells inside this tissue do not grow anymore. So they are called permanent tissues because they have stopped growing for the time being. Permanent tissues can be classified in two types. The two types are simple permanent and complex permanent. Sorry for this. 
so simple permanent and complex permanent simple permanent tissues provide support and protection these are the simple permanent tissues present on upside the plant and the lower side of the plant they cover the plant they provide support and protection and these these cells you see here these are complex permanent tissues which conduct nutrients and water so simple permanent tissues are of two types and complex permanent tissues are of um, are of two types too so we will learn about this video in the next class subscribe to your channel ratna sagar and don't forget that there is one app whose link is present in the description box this link makes the book of biology come true more links are there if you want to visit those links you can do so i'm ending my video here subscribe to ratna sagar pvt ltd